Ghazili Asfura, so I'm the Vice President of the GSM London Finance Society. Besides me is Sabah Khan, who is the Events Officer of the Society, and today we will be giving you our weekly market update. Now, the UK's FTSE 100 ended the week down 1.1% as miners sold off on concerns over slowing demand. Here are some of our recent news stories that caught our eye as reflecting key economics. 0.6% in the second quarter was wildly held as a sign that the UK economy is turning up. Um, and Vince Cable, the UK Business Secretary, said that the Bank of England's capital Taliban are holding back the recovery by imposing excessive capital requirements on banks. Well, I think uh, it's good that Vince Cable highlighted that as uh, this could pose a problem for your common man. I mean, many yeah. of us, of course, want to take out mortgages and loans yeah. and things like that, so that could prove to be a problem. Yeah, also with businesses as well. As it, yeah, most yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah, um, the Euro area economic um, activity expanded in July for the first time in over a year, according to the purchasing manager data. Yeah, to add to that, the Euro area consumer confidence also hit a two-year high in July. And, uh, well, besides that, the Archbishop of Canterbury announced plans to compete payday lender Wonga out mm. of existence by expanding Church of England's credit unions. Mm. Now, foreign direct investment flows into Britain increased by 11% in 2012 and 2013, despite global cross-border flows falling by 18% in the year. According to, and this is according to the data from the UK Trade and Real Investment. Also, the Director General of the UK Security Service, MI5, and the Intelligence Listening Post GCHQ wrote to all FTSE 350 chairmen urging them to take part in a cyber governance, governance health check. Um, the Chinese government introduced a five year ban on the construction of new government offices as part of wider measure, measures to curb excess and reduce government expenditure. The Financial Times reports that the flipping of houses, buying and selling them on quickly at a profit, has made a comeback in the US as housing activity continues to accelerate. Okay, well, um, that perhaps will uh, reflect on UK buyers and uh, sellers alike, those who involve themselves in real estate, as uh, you know, quite a few people are looking to cross the pond, the pond and do business either side of the pond. So, uh, uh, besides that, the Irish residential property prices recorded have reported their first annual increase in more than five years. Um, the UK's help to buy scheme has subsidised uh, an estimate £1.3 billion pounds of UK houses in purchase in the last four months. The Japanese government, however, upgraded its forecast for the economy for a third consecutive month. Um, the, the UK government officials have been issued with a style guide warning against the use of jargon and corporate speak in publications, including words such as deliver and facilitate. Um, Germ German police announced that they would try to 3D print their own guns in order to discover whether they can be easily smuggled through airport security or even used by their own officers. Uh, well, that's interesting. I mean, they haven't got such a, an idea present here in the UK as of yet, but uh, um, as, 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 as is generally the case, many countries like to follow suit uh, within Europe, so um, we perhaps could see other countries uh, following such an example. What do you think of 3D guns? Uh, well, 3D guns is just obviously, uh, if you like, a ploy or it's meant to be like a, a, a mock gun so that mm. obviously they can reenact what may be the smuggling of In other news, the small town of Bethel in Alaska is considering criminalizing drunk walking with economic research suggesting that on a per mile basis, walking drunk is eight times more dangerous than drunk driving. And that's one step ahead. Yeah, some people may think that um, it's a bit extreme, mm. but then yeah, again, course. if it's eight times more dangerous than drink driving. I mean, sometimes it needs, it needs to be put in place. Oh, definitely. But could you imagine if perhaps other countries followed suit, for example, say the US, mm. that would perhaps cause quite an outrage. Um, yeah. Thank you for listening to our weekly market update. Um, like our page on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and visit our website, www.gsmfinancesociety.co.uk and spread the word at uni and join find out about how to join our society at uni too.